everyone, welcome back to the Maybelline Makeup Loft. I'm Janelle and today I'm going to be teaching you how to create this beautiful glass skin look. Glass skin is actually a Korean beauty trend and it is all about creating that porcelain and almost transparent skin where it really glows and almost looks wet as well. It's really good because it gives you that fresh and glowy and almost youthful look. So if this is something that you are interested in, please stay tuned and keep watching. If you'd like to see more videos like this, don't forget to subscribe to the Maybelline Makeup Love channel. Anyway, let's keep watching. To make sure that you achieve that beautiful glass porcelain skin, you wanna make sure that you've layered on your skincare beautifully so that your skin is nice and hydrated and therefore your foundation doesn't soak up any extra hydration so it maintains that wet look. Today we're gonna to prep the skin with the Face Studio Prime Hydrating Primer and I'm gonna go ahead and apply that all over the skin. I'm using a synthetic brush, which is great because the synthetic brush doesn't soak up any extra moisture from the primer and foundation and therefore the moisture can go into your skin or sit on top of your skin and look porcelain like. Make sure you really smooth out the center of the face where there tends to be a few extra pores. For foundation today, I'm gonna to be using the Dream Urban Cover Foundation. It's full coverage and it's lightweight and protective makeup because it has an SPF of 40. With the same foundation brush that we have applied skincare primer and now foundation, we know that these bristles are nice and moist, which means that the skin is then gonna look moist as well. Love that word. I like to swipe the brush from up to down. It just goes with the natural hairs on the face and therefore it doesn't look muddy, it looks really smooth. So you can see already the skin is looking super smooth. So after applying a layer all over the face, I like to just stipple so that there are no brush lines all over my face. So you can see the skin is looking a little bit glowy, a little bit fresh. We're gonna add a little bit more coverage around the eyes, nose, and forehead with the Instant Age Rewind Concealer. Just twisting up the concealer. Don't mind my finger, I jarred it at basketball. <laughs> Now it's time to bronze the skin. And to make sure, again, we get that wet look, we're gonna use a wet product to bronze the skin up. And so I have the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer and this shade is in Honey. I'm just gonna lightly feather this around the outer portions of the face, just to add a slight bit of bronze. I don't want anything too dramatic, so this is just a really tan shade that's gonna add a slight bit of sun-kissed glow. We want to look bright and glowy, so we don't need anything too dramatic. So here we come to one of the more important parts, and that is making sure we know how to highlight our skin to achieve that maximum glow. The first product I'm gonna use is the Master Chrome Highlighter, and this one is in Molten Gold. So with my small fluffy brush, I'm gonna apply these on the high points of the cheeks, the nose bridge, the cupid's bow, the top of my brow bone and the top of my forehead as well. I'm also gonna put a tiny bit on the chin just to add that really glass skin look. Because the skin is not powdered down and it's nice and wet, it's gonna pick up these products beautifully and make it look wet itself. The brow bone is so important so that your highlight matches the rest of your face. Now we don't stop our highlighting there because the trick to that glass skin is to layer those highlights and give that illusion of wet, wet skin. So now I'm gonna use the 24 hour color tattoo cream eyeshadow and this one is in front runner. So I've just warmed that up on the back of my hand and I'm going to apply that with the very small detailed brush. So making sure it's worked into the brush and into the back of my hand, I'm gonna start highlighting those points just at that little middle section. So I'll show you. So just on that high point of the cheeks, I'm going to catch the middle of that and just intensify that highlight a little bit more. And then what I like to do is just really run that through that big fluffy brush and then just really lightly dust that onto the high points again just to help blend everything in. And to finish off the look, glass skin looks great with a beautiful, bold, glossy lip. It really just helps to give that look that pop of color while giving that sheen. So I'm gonna go in with a lipstick that's a beautiful red and has a little bit of a sheen to it as well. So I've just focused it on the center of the lip because we're gonna blend it out and make it more of a blurred, stained lip, just to keep along with that K-beauty trend. And then what I like to do is I like to grab my fingers, 
tap on the lip product and then just gently apply that on the cheeks as a blush. Because this lipstick has a gloss to it, it's going to help to bring that gloss to the skin as well. And there you have it. You have that beautiful glass skin look, that flushed porcelain, almost transparent foundation. It's very natural, very great for daytime, and it just makes you look like the freshest version of yourself. I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, please don't forget to subscribe to this channel, and I'll see you guys next time on the Maybelline Makeup Loft. Bye!